Welcome back to Mind Pump TV. I'm your host, Serene Wilkin. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to perform the pelvic clock exercise. It's a great way to add more awareness to your pelvis and identify where it is in space, as well as adding that deep core connection and knowing where your back is as well. So let's get started. All right, you guys, I'm gonna take you through how to perform a pelvic clock awareness exercise on the floor. Just be mindful that when you are on the floor that you're not over tucking, you don't have your feet too close. So making sure your pelvis in a neutral position to begin and your feet are just right here. Your knees are not gonna be rocking around side to side. You want them facing the ceiling and try to release any tension that you have in the neck or the shoulders. So from here, I'm gonna imagine I have a clock resting here. So I've got 12 o'clock, six o'clock, three, and nine. Talking about the pelvis, the pelvis tuck and releases, and then also it rotates, right? Side to side. So we're gonna explore all of that in a circular motion towards the end. But first, let's go ahead and practice from 12 to six. So again, not holding on to tension in my chest, I'm just gonna go ahead and exhale, rock up. Inhale, rock to six. Exhale, rock to 12. Inhale, rock to six. So just starting to understand, identifying how to rock the pelvis without moving the rest of the body. What can commonly happen, you guys, is a lot of motion like this, where you're just kind of rocking aimlessly, but really just trying to focus on isolating the pelvis, letting the abs and the spine talk to that area as you move it. Sometimes people feel restrictions when they perform the pelvic clock and that's completely normal. You don't wanna push through any kind of pain that you're experiencing in the hips or the back, but just take it as feedback. All right, you guys, so that is from 12 to six. Now we're gonna walk across laterally. So let's go ahead and go over to three, to center, to nine and center. And notice this tiny bit of rotation that's going on. You're gonna feel this right around your low back and also in the sides of your body. And you're not trying to go extreme. We're again, not trying to go all the way over, trying to lift the bum up. I still want some contact here. So just slow and steady. We can also aim for diagonals. So we can go from five to 11, we can go from one to seven. Let's try that. Let's go from five to 11. So as I come across, you might experience some of the tightening that you can use as feedback going in a diagonal. Again, that's just feedback. Just telling you, you might wanna do a little bit more hip mobility, low back, lumbar, et cetera. Let's go the opposite. And again, this is subtle, teeny tiny movement. And come on back to center. Now, once we've explored some of those angles, we can go in a complete circle starting from 12 clockwise. Here we go. Tucking to 12, around to three, down to six, around to nine, and all the way back to 12. Keep going in that circular motion. And notice if you're borrowing some of that movement from your shoulders or your neck. Try to release some of the tension there. So you wanna aim for these circles to be in a nice smooth manner. You don't want to force your body and try to create the shape and create the motion. And these are just great to even start your mobility routine with. It's a great way to begin a supine series, maybe abdominal series, or any kind of mobility on your back. And just as a check-in point, our pelvis is literally like the center of our body. So if we don't have control of that, we don't have control and awareness of a lot of other things once we start applying exercise. And you can do anywhere from 10 to 15 reps of the tucking, both sides, both directions, and then continue with the clocks. And you can also go the other way as well. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. And if you'd like more information on any of our free guides, go ahead and check out mindpumpfree.com. Thanks so much, and we'll see you soon.